If you boys are looking to buy some FIFA 17 coins, head on over to Golda.com and use DRG for a cheeky discount. What's going on lads? So we did it. This is another reaction video to Liverpool's result yesterday. As I'm recording this, I'll probably have it up today. So yes, yesterday's result against West Ham. Now if you're following me on Twitter, you know I was extremely nervous leading up to the game and especially yesterday morning. It honestly felt like we were in a cup final coming up and the last two games are always going to be that against West Ham. Middlesbrough. Really, the West Ham game should have been the tough one, and we walked away with it. 4-0 was an absolutely incredible result against West Ham, and you would think now the job is done, but it is Liverpool we're talking about. Middlesbrough, they have nothing to play for now, they're just going to go all out, and that would either suit Liverpool with an attacking team, or, you know, we could crumble under the pressure, but yesterday's result, my god, that was impressive. Bit of a rocky start, we looked like we could have conceded a couple of times, especially with Ayu, I think it was, twice off the post, bounced nicely from Mignolet, and I even thought during that, when that happened, I think we were 1-0 up at the time, I thought, surely that's the bit of luck we've needed this season, and it did kind of go that way, we hit the crossbar two or three times, Daniel Sturridge was back, and he looked sharp, he looked the best he's looked in a hell of a long time. And what I noticed last week when he came on, he looked so much trimmer. He looks like he's cut down on weight. He, he just looked really fit. And he was involved in pretty much all the goals. He scored an absolutely lovely goal rounding the goalkeeper. And he seemed to be involved in a lot of things. He could have had his second goal near the end of the game. I think we were 4 0 up at the time when Origi and Stoja were against one defender and Origi decided to go for glory himself. It was a little bit annoying. The team performance was amazing. A touch of genius by Klopp. Playing Coutinho a little bit deeper, they played the diamond midfield, which really suited us. So, you would imagine we're going to do that against Middlesbrough. If we play even half as good as we did against West Ham, I think we should be in the top four. Which will be a, it will be a successful season. If you take the first half of the season into consideration, yes, we should have been fighting for the title. But that period from January, February, it was that was pretty bad and that's what really ruined our season but as I say if we finish top four it's a successful season for me the goal was to get Jack back in the Champions League top four will do that I think although we have to play a qualifier but usually those are pretty standard and straightforward but again you just never know with Liverpool it would be typical to get top four and then fail in the qualifiers but yesterday's game fills me with hope that we can go on beat Middlesbrough get the top four spot and then it's down to Man United to win the Europa League, which, again, I think I said it in the last reaction video to the game. I would love to see uh, Man United win the Europa League once we've settled the top four spot. Because I want Man United, Liverpool to be fighting on all, all competitions again. That's the one thing I used to love, going down to the pub with all my mates. And, you know, the banter was brilliant. And it's kind of been lost this season because, you know, United weren't challenging for the league. Liverpool were for a certain point. So I was kind of in the pub watching it with a couple of Liverpool fans. And then the United fans didn't bother coming out. So I'm hoping to have that back next season. United should be looking good. They, if they don't get Champions League, yes, they're going to struggle. The same thing with Liverpool. If we didn't get Champions League this year, I was so worried about transfers really, could we attract the big name players that if we're not Champions League, I don't think in all honesty we could, I think if you've not got Champions League, you're kind of going out looking for hidden talent really, than buying actual talent, the likes of Van Dijk supposedly agreed to join if we get Champions League, we need the likes of Keita coming in to solid up the midfield, Julian Brandt has been linked with us, Chamberlain's been linked with us. It's all about building a big squad for next season because we're going to need it and that's what's really let us down in previous years, not having a talented or a good enough squad of players to cope with all them games. As the video started, the West Ham game, fantastic, job done and I had a cracking day yesterday and first time in ages I could relax during a game, it's usually been 1-0 coming up to the last few minutes but we got the job done nice and early yesterday and roll on Middlesbrough. Hopefully we can do it. Let me know down in the comments below whether you think job is done for Liverpool or whether you think there's another slip up if you want to call it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there'll be slippy G comments coming. But let me know down in the comments who do you think will be the top four now after Liverpool's brilliant win yesterday and do you think Manchester United will win the Europa League? Talk to you all soon lads. Take care. Cheerio.